now let's have a look at question seven question seven it was a financial maths question uh, with 7.1 saying an investment ends an interest rate of 7.5 compounded quarterly uh, calculate the effective nominal rate of this investment all right so they are looking for us to <coughs> excuse me they are looking for us to find the nominal rate if you go into your formula sheet guys you will find a formula given like this which is the relationship between nominal and effective rate so now this formula is given like that nominal and effective rate so this is what we're going to use for 7.1 so therefore what are we looking for we're looking for the effective so is this one here so we're going to take one to the other side but let's just do our uh, our substitution right here one plus this is our nominal here if you divide this by 100 remember you must remove the percentage so it's going to be 0 0.075 divided by they said here quarterly how many quarters are there in here four so here you're going to have four here and then you're going to have four there so we're going to punch this into our calculator if you punch this into our calculator what are we going to find let me just do this quickly simplify further take one to the other side take this one to the other side here of the bracket for four we go into our scientific calculator to press this directly we don't even bother ourselves so if we were to put this directly into the calculator we are going to find the answer of 0 0.0771 and then if you might you to wait to multiply this by 100 you are going to get 7.71 percent 7.2 7.2 says here rhino poaching is a serious problem and has resulted in the black rhino becoming an endangered species statistics show that there were 6,000 black rhinos in 1970 and only 4,200 remain in 2011 determine the annual rate of population decrease very very important percentage over 42 years if the decay rate is compounded decay so basically what they are saying here they are just asking us to calculate the depreciation rate at which there's a decay in the population of the rhino species so now what you do here you all we all if you go to your formula sheet you will see that you have this formula which is the depreciation formula here so now what do you have your the initial amount was six thousand and then it has decayed to four thousand 200 so our initial amount is 60,000 and then it has decayed to 4,200 that's how guys you if if you speak to the question you shouldn't make any mistakes you should be able to get it right so therefore you are you looking for you're looking for the rate which is i and then n will have to be 42 years because that's what they said here on the question so it's going to be 42 years so now we need to solve for i so we're gonna divide by sixty thousand on both sides here make our life easy sixty thousand sixty thousand would cancel out and then therefore what you're gonna do now uh, you are gonna have this in this case 42 all over four thousand two hundred divided by sixty thousand and then therefore we take the square root of 42 on both sides here 42 42 take the square root of 42 then the square root would therefore fly out and then we are you should be able to get to this point once everything has been if you make eyes the subject to the formula yeah guys i'm sp skipping some of the steps here but if you don't understand please let me know on the comment section below so that i can elaborate further but basically what i just did i took one to the other side and then i'm gonna be left with negative i then divided everything by negative so if we were to punch this into our calculator uh, let me just double check this 
I have uh, punched it. I got 0 0.0614. So if you want to multiply this by 100 and get it to percentage format, you are going to multiply by 100. Therefore, this should therefore give you 6,14 squared. That's it. So now, uh, let's move on to 7.3. 7.3 says Adam invested 27,000 rand uh, which he invests into the saving account. The interest rate is as calculated as a 5.4% compounded monthly for a full period of three years after the inv initial investment. He withdraws an X amount of money which we don't know what it is to make a down payment on the car. Calculate the value of X if he if he accumulated 17,614.76 in the investment account over 10 years. So basically in this case, you need to have a timeline for 10 years. I think timeline, guess you did it in grade 10. All right. So therefore, that's your timeline. There's one year there. So initial investment, he invested 27,000 right sorry about the noise there and then at the interest rate where your i is going to be 0 comma 0 uh, this comma 0 5 4 all right so therefore at some point after three years which is in this case here he withdrawed an x amount of money we don't know how much but this x amount of money also gained interest at the end of this one he had an amount of 17,614 and 76. All right. So now let's go ahead and calculate this amount here. So basically, this is the formula that we are going to use the compound formula to deal with this one. So initially, they are saying at the end of 10 years, he had uh, 17,014.76, which is equal to initial deposit of 27,000 let's see and then uh, with our interest rate compounded uh, let me just double check guys is it compounded yes that is uh, compounded monthly there you go so the interest is compounded monthly so it's going to be interest paid split over 12 months times 10 years and then they said after three years he withdrew this x amount of money we don't know how much but this x amount of money that he is withdrawing it's part of the interest this is where most learners make mistakes but you need to make this amount that he is withdrawing to have gained interest he's withdrawing it together with the interest that this has accumulated for the how many uh, months well years it said after three years so how many years were left seven so it's going to be 12 multiplied by seven all right then uh, therefore if you go into uh, your calculator you should be able to solve this so what you're gonna do you're gonna take this hole to that side so what you're gonna have you're gonna have 17,614. Uh, 76 minus 27,001 plus 0, 0, 0,05 all over 12. This is equals to 120. is going to give us minus x1 plus 0, 0,54 all over 12. And then this is 84, I think. And then therefore, what you're going to do, you can just divide everything here by negative 1 plus zero comma by negative yeah because what we're looking for we're looking for x right great stuff uh, to the power of eight four here therefore this and that would cancel out negative and negative would cancel out therefore you would de divide this by that and then you put this in your key in your calculator guys and then you're gonna get an answer okay so 84 so our x value is there for let me punch this in my calculator and see hey, how much did i get guys you can pause this video and then just see if you're gonna manage to get it right so what i'm getting in this case is 19 uh, 656.28 therefore 
that's the amount of money that was withdrawn. I am Gaston Mapala. Let me see you on the next upload where we will be doing question eight.